Let's start by thanking the Chime Choir for a wonderful Are there any announcements this morning? Anything I should know about? All's quiet this week? There are coat drives, but that's close to that. Coat drive? Well, you, you can never say too much about a coat drive. Okay, hats, gloves, scarves, coats. Okay. Never use but clean. Never use but clean. Okay, anything else? What's the coat drive in? Uh, the first Sunday in December. First Sunday in December. Yeah. Second Sunday of Advent. Correct. Right. Yeah. You gotta have all these things lined up. Well, I couldn't have told you. <laughs> okay, well let's begin the worship service in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who redeems us in Christ Jesus, whose steadfast love endures forever. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and one another. <coughs> Most merciful God, we bring our sins against you in the heavens. We have been born voices to call for your justice. We have been brought to actions that witness to your righteousness. We have spoken and acted in ways that disrupt your love and unity. We truly repent of the things that are done and not done by them. For the sake of Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Restore our troubled spirits so that we may live in Jesus, follow the way of the Spirit, and build up the body of Christ. Rejoice and be glad. God hears the prayers of all who cry out and restores us to life through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I declare to you the forgiveness of all your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our gathering song is DLW number 327, Through the Night of Doubt and Sorrow.
with you all. And also, also with you.
and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair of your head will perish. By your endurance, you will gain your souls. Holy Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. Christ.
My first church was a wonderful building, a great place. It's now a strip mall. But that doesn't mean God's work wasn't done there. Because when it had to close, they were able to fund the start of a new church in a better location with the sale of the property. So, we go through this stuff. But as we're talking about what we got, and Jesus says this is going to come down, what's the first thing in your mind? When the heck will that happen? How will we know it's coming? How do we know to get out of the way of the falling stones? And Jesus talks to us because there are times when we will think it's happening right now and it isn't. How many of you have heard some television evangelist I am he! Come on, time is now, let's get it done. What they're really saying is, I'm he, send your money. They're trying to get you to react now to what might not be happening. Lots of this stuff will happen. Lots of things will happen. This gospel, by the way, I think it's the only place in Scripture that uses the word insurrection. How politically appropriate in our day to talk about insurrection. But these things will happen. Things that are hard for us. There will be wars. Again, today, Ukraine and Russia, that's the one this week. But have any of you ever lived through a time when there wasn't a war going on? I'm only 73 and I have not. There's always been a conflict somewhere in the world. In Mark it says you'll hear of wars and rumors of wars. So sometimes they're big and in all the papers like you sometimes we don't hear about them. That'd be Liberia about 10 years ago. Stuff goes on. And we have to go through it. Whether we like it or not. There'll be earthquakes. <clears throat> you have lived through an earthquake. Maybe not necessarily at the upper center, but no one happened. No someone who got hurt by one. Stuff happens. <clears throat> and when we stand up, we might get in trouble. When we stand up and say, wait a minute, I think God calls us differently. Will we get in trouble? Think in your hearts. I'll bet you can name somebody. I'll go back in history so I don't get in trouble with current times. Nelson Mandela stood up to the world and said apartheid was wrong. Went to prison for it. They threw him in jail because he cried out in God's name, in Christ's name. Now we're not called to do all that. But we may get chastised in our world for standing up for what we think is right. But here's the good news. I told you we'd have to work through some stuff to get to the good news. Didn't I say that earlier? Yeah. If we are able to stand up and follow Christ, and ignore the distractions along the way, and the, just outline a few, like we go on for a couple hours with distractions. But if we are able to stand up and follow Christ, the good news, I, I can't 
entirely, you can almost fall, believe this, not a hair of your head will perish. But by your endurance, you will gain your soul. That's a promise that Jesus makes that no one else can think. Not any of the others who stand up and say, I am he, can say that. Most of them don't try. But if we follow in our lives, in whatever way we can, and I cannot, and I've always said this, I cannot define how you as individuals do that. That's between you and God. But if you continue to stand up and follow God in the ways you are able, then in the end, your endurance will help you gain your soul. This is a promise from Jesus. He's not asking you to be miracle workers. He's not asking you to do things beyond your ability. He's asking you to stand up in your life and say, this is what I believe. And because I believe this, this is how I am. So there's good news, despite the, all the importance of dangers that are in this gospel. In the end, there's good news. And I think as we come to the end of the church year, just in case you didn't know it, that's next Sunday. It's good for us to remember as we come to the end of one cycle and begin another. By our endurance, God will bless us and we will save our souls. Is there better news to be had? No, that's good news. Amen. Hymn of the day is ELW number 769. If you but trust in God to guide you.
pray now in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under God's child, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose to heaven. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand. Consoling God, abide with all who grieve for loved ones who have died. Comfort us with the promise of resurrection and new life with you. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Accept these prayers, gracious God, and those known only to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus came and was among us. Us. He shared with us his wisdom. He shared meals with us. He 
died for us, that we might receive the gift of his peace. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Take a moment now to share that. Peace of the Lord. As I often do, I will be so I will remind you that when you get home this afternoon, if you think of someone who is the word of peace, pick up the phone, give them a call. Simple gesture, but a wonderful gift.
Blessed are you, maker of all things, as you have entrusted us with all that you have created. Now gather our gifts, nourish us with this sacrament, and send us to those who hunger and thirst for the sake of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Give it right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, who on this day overcame death in the grave, and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. And so with the choirs of angels, with the church on earth, with the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join in their unending hymn.
Instagram. May the sacred and precious gift of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen us and keep us in his grace. We give you thanks, most gracious God, that you have fed us with the bread of heaven and given us a foretaste of paradise. Enliven us to be your body in the world and to serve those who are in need. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Receive now this blessing. God of peace who creates all things and calls them good who makes us alive in Jesus and breathes on us the spirit of hope. Bless you now and forever. Amen. Our sending song is ELW 796, How Firm a Foundation.